Pimpo County Court Stone. And do nails. Get away from me. Um, so, anyway, go away. Seriously, you stay. So I just wanted to show you guys how I do the nails. Here, I'll come down so they can see. Blondie, get back. Let me get up on this. You don't want to leave it on for too long because it gets too hot. You just want to um, do it long enough to... I just tap it. And you're trying to round it off. This is going to be hard to see. Sometimes after I get it, I'll kind of... Move on to the next one. Make sure I'm not spending too much time. So whenever I started doing hers, they were really long. Like really long. So like that's why... Pterodactyl claws. Yeah, that's why I'm having to work on hers as far as... As far as... Um, Can't have her with those babies either with those pterodactyl claws. Exactly, yeah. You just work on them. If she starts to get a little sensitive to the one I'm working on, then I'll move to a different one. Cashmere, I'll give her a break for a second. Stay. Back down. Stay. Stay. Hold on. We're just trying to round it off and work it down to where the cuticle, the quick in there, actually not cuticle, recedes. The cuticle is the blood flow to the nail, and that's why whenever you, whenever you, um, whenever you use clippers on a dog's nail, that's why they, um, they bleed. So you don't want to make them bleed because that hurts the same way it does with us. So you just want to keep working the nail down because as you progressively get the nail shorter, the quick will recede back into the nail. The longer you let the nail grow, the longer the quick gets because it goes with the nail. So if you let your dog's nails get really long, you're not going to just really be able to like cut them off. Um, you're going to have to stay. You're going to have to slowly work them down. And we just round them off. Try to get every edge. You can start it off at a really low setting just to get them used to it and then work up to a faster one if you want. Um, I'm just going to keep, I'm going to go back, take a look at them, see where you got them. You'll see the quick See it right there and right there the black that's it and you can see how this one I'm starting to get to it there
This one. Oop. Da, 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 da. Oops, she stay. didn't hang them all. Stay. Hold on, let me move this there. one a little bit more. Stay. Oh. Stay. Let me move on. Let me go. Okay. You're a good girl, Kesma. So you kind of see the the difference here. We've got these that are black and longer, right? And then we've got this dull edge here we're working on. And we're just really just kind of going at it from all angles, trying to slowly but surely get that nail down and we're seated back into the nail bed where it needs to be. Oh, there is a quick so you can see it. Mm -hmm. Got into it there. See how it's not white anymore? You can see that that difference there. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Okay, you can see it right there. Yep. So the darkness. That's the difference. Yeah, it's like layers. Yep. You see that? Right. Mm -hmm. Like a tree. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's all we want to do is get to that. And then we'll stop until the next time. And we'll slowly but surely work it back down again. Because I... You know, I'm used to having dogs that live in the city, and so when you take them on a walk on concrete, then that wears the bed, the, 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 the nail down. You don't get these kinds of long nails. But living out here in the country, there's just not anything really to, like, grade it down, really. Um, so I'm having to do this to all my dogs. Oh, there it is. You see? You see the difference in it, the color? Yep, there it is. So we'll go on the top now. And around the edges. And it should um, naturally recede. Take a look at her face, by the way. You can see that she's not bothered by it. Totally fine. Yeah. What's funny is this is. What's funny is that this is actually only the second time, this is the second time that I've done this, but she did, she's doing really good, so.
I bet you it's like the same feeling whenever you get acrylic nails and stuff, and they, uh, you know how she takes, it looks like a Dremel almost, that's where your nail, I think, yeah, they do it for the actual acrylic after it's done. Yep, to prep the nail. Yeah. It doesn't hurt, it just seems, shaving it down a mm. bit. We're good. And last. This long one. Here. Stay careful. Mm -hmm. Watching the camera. Be a lot easier if I flipped her over, but it's really important that we get this taken care of before she has her puppies. We really don't want her stepping on them with sharp nails, you know? Yeah. Uh, she always has a lot of puppies, and it's really hard to step around them without accidentally stepping on one every now and then. So. We've got some loose bits over here. I broke it. You see, you know, it, it smells just like <clears throat> burning hair. <laughs> so, just keep that in mind. Like a lot of friction on something? Yeah, and I would recommend wearing, like putting something down or wearing gloves or something. I really kind of just did this without thinking, so. I'm going to have this, all over your yep, hair, all, this stuff all over me. Nail. But, worse things have happened. Alright, so. You can just see here on this front feet. Good girl. So ah, ah, stay. Catch me now. So you can just see here that we've rounded them off, and you can see here if we can show you the fronts, quicks. all the quicks that we've got like that we've gotten to on these. And that's what we want, so that. So that it will recede and we can get the nails shorter. Disregard my own nails. <laughs> I actually made the mistake of painting them even though I know I have no time to keep up with them. Oh, bring it lady. And then I'll need to do her back ones as well. Um, but that'd be a long video if we did that. Yeah, yeah it'd be too long. And then I also want to show you guys my blanket. Oh, my blanket! Yeah, you've got a blanket. <sighs> Oh, she's got a blanket. You're not that old at all. Um, let me get it. Here you go. Alright. Here's a velocity. What's up? Move. She's pretty. Alright, so this is actually part of my merch. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you guys remember like in the 70s. Look at in the 70s. They used to have these like blankets go away with like animals on them and usually they were reversible but they always had animals and stuff on them they're really cool i think they had like tigers and dolphins dude go away stop it all of you go away so is it right side up yes yeah. so here's my blanket it's a pretty boy See? and on the bottom it says uh here let me get midnight to remove it says you guys go get stop get it. Go, guys creature get out of my way right now it's not about you, except right, it is about except you. It, except it is about you. 
pretty sure. And it's got a big old boy on it. A puppo. Isn't that beautiful? It's just Cashmere's beautiful. like, give it to me, I want to have babies on it. it. She wants to have babies on it. Anyway, so I'm very excited about my preacher blanket. Um, and I'll show you, you know, it's really, psh, you go his full way. It's not bad, like it's It's stuck, good, stuck. good material. Let me see if I can uh, get on, on that. Yeah, I was gonna show you just like, if you get, if, so there you go. So you can see here, it's not like, like, um, like a hard print on it. Like it's actually like in the fabric. So I don't know. I really like it. I think you guys will so, like it too. But yep, I finally have a blanket with my dog on it, which personally I just think is awesome. So anyway, if you want anything like this, like I have it's this to the side now. I, ha uh, I have this blanket, and then you got quite some a bit other of, stuff. Yeah, you got with like the same design on it. You got like a cup too and stuff for him, but I felt like it was iconic. Really, I just kind of designed stuff for myself, like what I would want to see. But I need to get like better about it. I could do like funny stuff. <laughs> anyway, and then um, I'm also going to be doing a giveaway. And I'll show you what I'm going to be doing. One sec. She's going to bring it over here. Hello, Pops. Um, Hello, Pupos. Hi, Puppy. What's up? Hey. There's a remote on the ground. Right. He's so, a sweetie. I got two of these pictures these are the official win pictures for preacher so i have two of them and so i'm gonna um, take one put it in a frame just like this and I'm gonna offer that as a giveaway um, for um, our subscribers especially because we have a bunch of new subscribers so we hit 60k yeah we did we hit 60k subscribers so, um, I haven't figured out what the details are going to be yet. I'm also going to be doing another contest where we do user subscriber, um, subscriber art for some merch. Um, I just have had so much going on with the trip and then with the dogs and everything that with the puppies that I haven't had the opportunity to put it all together yet, but we will be. And like I said, this is an official win picture for Preacher, so it's like the actual photographic, photograph paper and all that stuff, just like what I have. So, you should, yeah. You should sign it too, you know? Um, no, I'm not going to sign it. You're not going to sign like to talk I don't to have someone. a good signature. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to ruin the picture like that. But, <laughs> having said that, I think it would be pretty cool just to have a piece, a bona fide official piece of Preacher, Preacher's win. So, hope you guys like that idea. I'll figure out um, the details. I know that there are some software that you can use to like um, generate a winner for stuff like this, and I just need to figure that out before I go around telling people to do stuff. So just keep your ears out for that new information, okay? Hope you guys are having a good night, and we'll talk at you later.